1799, in reaction to the French Revolution, the British government became concerned with potential revolutionary conspiracies. And so the Prime Minister, William Pitt the Younger, proposed to, to introduce an update to the 1797 Unlawful Oath Act, which made organizations that put members under a secret oath, not required by the state, illegal. It was called the Unlawful Societies Act. The Earl of Moira, pro-grand master or acting grand master of the moderns, in place of the grand master, his Royal Highness George, Prince of Wales, and together with the Duke of Atoll, who was the grand master of the ancients, met with Pitt. The result was that Freemasons were excluded from the provisions of the Act, but in return had to keep records of who attended lodge meetings and to turn these over to the local clerk of the peace annually. This event was the impetus needed to bring the moderns and the ancients together. In 1809, a lodge of promulgation was established to consolidate the ritual of the moderns and ancients so that both sides could agree. <clears throat> the moderns had been established in 1717, whereas the ancients were founded 33 years later. So though the moderns claimed an older history, the ancients claimed a more authentic ritual. King George III is now remembered uh, for his challenges with mental illness, but not so much for his fecundity. His wife, Sophia Charlotte, gave birth to nine boys and six girls. The eldest boy, also George, became Prince of Wales and the Grand Lodge of England's first royal grandmaster in 1792. Before the Union, the Prince of Wales was the Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of England. From 1811, George became Prince Regent, standing in for his father, King George III, who was unfit to rule. And as it was thought to be difficult to be a king or prince and to hold the office of Grand Master as well, uh, perform state duties, so the Earl of Moira was appointed Pro Grand Master to handle the day to day duties of the Grand Master. And this is the current position in the United Grand Lodge of England. <clears throat> in January of 1813, His Royal Highness George, Prince Regent, the future King George IV of England, stepped down as Grand Master of the Moderns, and his younger brother, His Royal Highness Prince Augustus Frederick, Duke of Sussex, was installed. The ancients hurriedly elected or invited the Duke of Sussex's older brother, His Royal Highness Prince Edward, Duke of Kent as Grand Master of the Ancients, to represent them at the Union. It seems he was installed sometime in November, uh, though many people uh, state December, because he signed his name on the Articles of the Union on November 25th, 1813, as Edward G.M. The title of the Articles is the Article of Union between the two Grand Lodges of Freemasons of England in the name of God. Amen. After four years of negotiation, the result was the Act of Union was ratified on December 1st, 1813, though formally signed again at the Grand Assembly of Freemasons on the 27th of December, 1813, on St. John's the Evangelist Day, perhaps showing a leaning towards operative masonry or deference to an older brother. However, it was the youngest of the three brothers, the Duke of Sussex, who was the first Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England. A declaration was made that pure ancient masonry consists of three degrees and no more, viz. those of the entered apprentice, the fellow craft and the master mason, including the supreme order of the Holy Royal Arch. Adding the Royal Arch degree was a compromise for the benefit of the ancients, 
as they considered the royal arch as the fourth degree, which made the formation of a charter the duty of every lodge under the United Grand Lodge. The 640 lodges and 330 ancient lodges were amalgamating, being listed alternately. The ancients being listed first. The new Grand Lodge was renamed the United Grand Lodge of England. <coughs> this uh, arrangement explains the meaning of the letters after a lodge's name. Some older lodges under the Grand Lodge of England still use F and AM, free and accepted masons, whereas lodges from after the Union use AF and AM, an appreciation for ancient, free and accepted masons, meaning ancient masons, Freemasons and accepted masons, with ancient masons listed first. Thank you.